Lucky Tree Brewery, and we're here as part of Ignite's big six-year anniversary show during Kegamania, and I'm here with Devin Macabre. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Beer, wrestling, Saturday. Yeah. What, what more could you ask for? That's what I was talking about, right? <laughs> Now you're here, you're wrestling in a tag team match today yes. with JC Love. Yes. Do you prefer wrestling in tag team matches or single matches? I honestly like both and it's really cool that I'm tagging with JC because I train with her. So we have that chemistry already. It's not like some random opponent. Um, so that always is a plus, especially when you're going against Chelsea Durden and Kelsey Reagan. Yeah, Chelsea and Kelsey, two friends of the channel. I've had them both here on the channel. Great girls, love them to death, but I can't wait to see you two throw it down in the ring today. Oh, we're going to be throwing down. Now, speaking of training, I want to go back to like the first day. Yeah, put your, look at, you're drinking water. You're being very responsible yes, here. Water. Are you gonna Hydrate. Have, are you going to have some beer here at Kegamania afterwards? I actually have another show tonight, so no beer for me, unfortunately. No beers. Two shows in one two day. Two shows in one day. Okay. The other show's in Orlando, so. About two hours from here, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you got to hit the road right you after. You got to hit the road, yes. So I'm glad we're getting this interview in before the show. Yes, then. Okay. Yes. Now, speaking of training, can you take me back to that very first day that you walked into wrestling school? What were the initial thoughts that went through your mind? Oh, I was scared. I was super scared, and um, the school I started at had um, Sarah Stock there, who was a coach at WWE. Um, she's like my wrestling mom. I love her to death. She was there on my first day, and she has mentored me since then till now. Um, and she she saw that I was really nervous, and she really just kind of took me under her wing, showed me the ropes and everything. Um, so nervous is actually an understatement because I was like I was scared. Okay. Because this is something I've wanted my entire life, and I was going in there like, what if I can't bump correctly? What if I can't do this correctly? Like, I'm going to suck, so. Now, speaking of you wanting to do this your entire life, I like to do a little research before I do my interviews, and I was checking out your YouTube channel. Yes. And I came across WrestleMania Access when you met Carmella. Yes. Can you just tell me, like, what went through your mind when you met Carmella that day? It was crazy, because that was the first time I've ever met anyone famous, and um, she was the first person I met, so like, I don't know why I just started crying, it was weird. I don't know if you saw the part I did, I did. with uh, Dean Ambrose. Uh, I, I was going to get to that next, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was going to yes. get to that, yes, yes. Um, but it was just such an exciting day for me, it really just like lit a fire under my butt to become a professional wrestler. I was going through a lot of stuff mentally at that time, so it was really beneficial for me to meet those guys. Now, I heard a voice in the background, I'm not sure if it was your mom or who it was, but it said to Carmella, she wants to be a professional wrestler too. Yeah, that was my mom. That was your mom, yes. okay, okay. Now, I also saw you did a bunch of other videos on your channel where you were showing off your wrestling shirts. Oh boy. Were you the person that went to school like always wearing wrestling t-shirts? Yeah, and I got bullied to hell for it. You got bullied for I it? I did, I did. It's okay though, because guess what? Look at me now. I I think we were in the same boat because I grew up in a time in the 80s where it wasn't cool to be a wrestling fan. Yeah. And I used to wear the wrestling t-shirts too all the time and people always picked on us too, but now they're all watching wrestling. Yeah, all right? exactly. It's like, I feel like so many people outgrow in age or they outgrow wrestling. And then there's people like us that continue to watch it. And I feel like people have their own hobbies and interests. It doesn't make it right for you to belittle someone else's. Right. As long as it's not like hurting anyone, why, did, why is it your business, you know? Exactly, yeah, stay out of other people's yeah, businesses. Yeah, stay right? in your lane. Oh wow, we actually got some peace and quiet yes, right now while the band's quiet. not playing right now. <laughs> now, you were going through a bunch of those t-shirts and stuff and it seemed like you just had a lot of Dean Ambrose, AKA John Moxley. Yes. Would he be your favorite wrestler of oh, all time? Oh, 100%, yes, yeah. yes. yes. I, ha I still buy his shirts. He's like the only wrestler I buy shirts still. Okay. Yeah, so besides like some like of my friends, I'll like support them, but like actual like up there wrestlers like signed, yeah, he's the only one. It's still Moxley. Yeah, of course. I loved when you met him and you started crying and he's like, yeah, 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 I know. I know. <laughs> I'm like, that seems like it's so John Moxley. It is, but he was super nice. Like he was like, don't make me tell you a bad joke. Like I think he could tell that it really touched me, you know? And I haven't met him since 
months, unfortunately, but hopefully that will change. Yeah, he's doing big things. He'll be back yeah. soon. You know, he's taking care of himself. Yeah. Back soon. Can't wait for that. A hundred percent. Yeah. Now, were there any like ladies that really influenced you to become a professional wrestler? Um, I would have to give that. I okay. So I wanted to be a wrestler since I was seven. Seven years old. Seven years old. Um, so my inspiration, of course, was John Cena. Okay. Whatever, but um, I really liked Kelly Kelly. Okay. I don't know why. Um, I'm actually a natural blonde, so like growing up, I kind of was like, oh, she looks like me. She doesn't look like me, but seven-year-old me was like, she looks like me. And um, you know, it was cool to relate to someone, and it was also cool to see uh, girls kicking ass. It was awesome. So that's why I was like, you know what? I could do that too. Um, but like, who really? Like I steer inspiration from would be like AJ Lee, um, Paige, um, Trish Stratus, Lita, Victoria. Um, those just to name a few. I honestly always liked watching the men in a weird way, not because they're like nothing weird, but I just like how aggressive they are. And I'm not saying the girls aren't, but like I feel like John Moxley, like Eddie Guerrero, a couple others, like Seth Rollins they step it up a notch and it's really entertaining to watch. Okay, now you brought up Kelly Kelly. Yes. I've had the opportunity to actually interview Kelly Kelly here on nice. the show. Very, very, very sweetheart. Now, I only got a short interview with her because she was at a convention. And one of the questions I did ask her, and I'm going to ask you too, I asked her what her favorite guilty movie pleasure of all time was, and she said it was Cruel Intentions. Do you have a favorite guilty movie pleasure of all time? I've actually watched that movie, but it wouldn't be a guilty pleasure of mine. Okay. I honestly would say, um, uh, what is it called? Oh my God. Grown Ups with Adam Sandler and okay. all that. Okay. That is like my go-to like happy movie. Um, Death at a Funeral with Chris Rock, um, and then Blended with Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. Which one with? Uh, I'm sorry, it's loud. Yeah, which, it's loud. Which one? Um, what was the one with Adam? Was it Wedding Singer? You said? No, Blended. Oh, okay. I, with I um, Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore, it is really good. It's like I don't like romance movies, but it's like a rom-com and it's actually really entertaining. Okay. They start out like I'm not gonna spoil it. But they start out like the beginning of the movie hating each other after a really bad date. Okay. And something has to bring them back together. So nice. I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay, now we talked about Dean Ambrose as well. Like I do a lot of like retro movie reviews here on the channel as well. And I reviewed the movie Twelve Rounds with Dean Ambrose. Did yeah. you ever watch that movie? I did, I what actually were your thoughts? I own the movie on DVD. You own the I movie did. on DVD, okay. I'm such a mark, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I actually really liked it. I did not have like I, I had I had like decent expectations. Um, it's just some of those movies are not the best. Um, but I really liked it. It was very entertaining. The storyline was there. I am a big movie critic and I love a good movie. And I'm not being biased about it. I actually really enjoyed it. Right, because some of those WWE films, they're not very good. Sorry. But I actually did, I, I can't remember the score. I gave it a seven or an eight. But, you know, it's not the greatest movie of all time, but if you're a Dean Ambrose fan, John Moxley, I think it's definitely a movie yeah, worth Yeah, 100%. Out, right? Yes. Now, I also saw that you're into comics. Yes. Favorite comic book character of all time? I really like Jean Grey. Oh, the Phoenix? Yes. Okay. I kind of like, I'm not a, a natural redhead, but like I dyed my hair red because of her. Okay. I also really like, um, is that normal, like a super basic one, but Black Widow. Okay. I love her backstory. I love her origin story. Um, it's really like captivating. Um, and then I really like Wonder Woman and Harley Quinn, but I would say like my favorite is Jean. Jean Grey. Yes. I love the Phoenix. She's just, I mean, she's, she's a the ultimate power, right? Yeah. Like, who is going to mess with the Phoenix? Nobody. Right? Nobody. Underrated opinion, but I think she's stronger than Wanda. Mm. Don't come for me. Don't Twitter cancel me, please. <laughs> don't Twitter cancel anybody. We don't need any of that. Everybody can have different opinions, and it's okay, right? Yes. The Dark Phoenix will mess people up, that's for sure. For sure. For sure. Yes. Now, I know, you know, being a professional wrestler it has to have, like, a lot of sacrifices that you go through. Is there anything that maybe you've put on the back burner to pursue professional wrestling? Um, definitely saving. Okay. Saving is a pain in the ass for me because I work full time and then I wrestle on the weekends. Um, I'm a waitress, so I have to like find other ways. Like I have a Patreon um, that I try to make money off of. I sell shirts, I sell eight by tens to cover, um, 
you constantly have to keep your image looking good. Like I'm actually getting new gear soon and new gear is really expensive. Um, but you always just have to like maintain a look if you really want to end up getting anywhere or if you want to be noticed. Um, I notice a lot of people don't put a lot of effort into their look and I'm not trying to bash anyone. Um, but it really helps to like present yourself like you want people to like see you and like remember you like oh I remember her because she had really cool gear like it sticks with people so you have to be you have to be memorable and different um, and then also like spending time with my family I don't ever get to see my family anymore I get really lucky if they come to one of my shows but um, it's really hard having some kind of social life with people outside of wrestling's hard. Um, I get to see people I love every day. That's really cool though. Like my girl JC, my tag partner, love her, but um, I don't get to see my family that much. That's the that's the downside to it. That's the downside? Okay. Yeah. Now, I know here before a wrestling match, you're probably watching what you're eating and don't want to eat too much, but you know, you are going to have a hard wrestling match. Actually, you're going to have two hard wrestling matches here today. You're going to be hungry. Is there like that go-to meal that you're going to have when you finish all your wrestling for the day? Wings. Wings. Okay. Wings. Barbecue wings. Barbecue yes, wings. with ranch. All the ranch and some french fries. Okay. Yes. So you're just going to indulge in those wings and fries. Yes. Afterwards. Screw that diet. Bye. I'll go back to CrossFit Monday and I'll make it all up. So is that what you do in order to keep in shape for wrestling CrossFit? Yes. I feel like it's really helpful with endurance and stuff like that. Um, it's always helped me. And um, I really like it because I feel like I've gotten so strong so quickly. So I recommend it. Okay. Keep up the good CrossFit. I've tried it a couple times. It has screwed with my wrist. Yeah. It's, it's not for everyone. Yeah. Um, I like the first couple times I was like what the hell what are wrong with these people but now I'm like I'm in love with it I'm addicted okay so when you're not wrestling when you're not training when you're not working when you're not spending that little bit of time with your family what are some of the fun things you like to do for fun um I like hanging out with my dogs I also like doing like pick-me-up games with soccer okay um, I love soccer I played in high school it's like always gonna have a little place in my heart um, I like watching like TV like anyone else, you know, being lazy. And um, yeah, I'm pretty chill. Like, I don't really do much. Okay. I mean, you don't have much time to do much else, so. No, unfortunately not. Plus, in this crazy world, I mean, what else is there to do right now? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, speaking of the crazy world, we're here in January of 2022, right? Two years into this whole craziness that's going on. Now, we've had more time on our hand than probably usual. Have you. Besides wrestling, have you taken up like a new skill, a new hobby, learned something new about yourself over the past two years? I've started writing more. I used to really like writing books in uh, middle school and high school, but I started writing a lot more, um, like little fictional stories that I will never post, but it's really fun. I started journaling and I started getting into astrology. Okay. As stupid as that sounds, I start, yeah. I, started... I think astrology is pretty cool. Yes. Right? And it's good to have, I guess, something just to free your mind. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. 100%. Now I do want, you did talk about your gear and I do want to compliment you because I did go back and watch some of your old stuff and I've kind of seen the evolution of your look and your gear yes. from here to now and I see a lot of people, I think it's such a good point that I've interviewed here, they've gone on to do things like AEW and I see the evolution of the gear but you're getting kind of ahead of the game here. A little bit. Yeah. I try. I, it helps. Um, I do pay people. I'll send um, a design idea to a designer and he'll design it for me and I bring it to the gear person. This gear I'm actually wearing right now is inspired by um, X-Men Apocalypse Psylocke. Psylocke, okay. Psylocke, yes. Wow, you, you got like all the cool characters down. I know, I love yeah, it. I grew up playing like those X-Men vs. Street Fighter video games. Yes. All the characters in there, it was just such a great time. I, uh, my first gear was inspired by Starfire. Okay. From the Injustice 2 game. Okay. So. I like to draw a lot of inspiration from comic books because it is so relatable to wrestling gear. Um, I need to stop stealing it though. But a lot of people say this reminds them of Katana a little bit, and I'll take that. Okay. But the, um, the what's it called? The kick pads covers, they're kind of like falling apart, which means I need to get new gear. New gear. But it will do until then. Katana, that's actually my go to character in Mortal Kombat. Yes. Love, love playing some Katana. I love her. You know, like, when it comes to the fighting games, like, I actually gravitate to the ladies. Yeah. Like, I always, I, I find the As ladies you so badass in these yes. games. Yes. Katana, my favorite in Mortal Kombat. Cammy in Street Fighter. 
Catwoman and Injustice. I love playing like with the badass girls. Up. They're like way more aggressive. Yes, exactly. Way more aggressive. In your face and nonstop. That's yes. the way I like it. Yes. So definitely, is there anything else we should know about that's going on here with you in the future? Um, I would definitely love to be back at Ignite. Um, but I am going to be wrestling on Division Pro tonight. And then um, I will be wrestling at the end of the month, January 29th, at um, Capital Championship Wrestling. It is up in Delaware. It's a new up and coming all female promotion. Um, we have like Kimberly there, a bunch of other great names Willow Nightingale, very talented ladies. I'm super excited to share a card with them. And I'm also going to be in a tag match um, on that one too. So I'm super excited. Singles matches, tag matches. I'm doing it You're all. Ready to take over the world. I'm doing a triple threat tonight too. Oh my goodness. Yes. A tag team match for the tag team title. You can walk out of here with gold at Ignite tonight. Yes. And I believe the triple threat's going to be for a number one contendership at Division. So, gold, gold, gold. We're gold. walking out with gold today, That's and then I'm going to get the gold eventually at Division. That's what I'm talking yes. about. I love to hear that. Uh, Devlin, where can people look you up at? Uh, my Facebook is Devlin Macabre. My Twitter is It's Devlin. And then my Instagram is Devlin Macabre. And merchandise? Uh, I am officially on Pro Wrestling Tees. at shows, so if you see me there, I have shirts and 8 by 10s That's right. If you see her at the show, come by, say hello, yes. take a picture, get an autograph. Support my wrestling career. <laughs> Support the wrestling, buy a t-shirt. It's not cheap doing this kind yes. of stuff. Yes, no it's not. It's an investment for sure. All right, Devlin, thank you so much. Of for course, thank here. you so much for having me. So guys, if you like interviews like this with Devlin Macabre, make sure you stay tuned in here to Tone In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.